Indeed! Hello once again everyone, how are we all doing? So I'm a little bit late. So we got on, so, hey, bloody a lot of people. Uh, Mark Blaster, how are you doing? Hello Clansman, hello Maltese TV, hello Classics. Hello Matt, hello Jason. And hello Andrew. Reminded me to play that fucking game again. Oh god. Can't you recommend me any other game? <laughs> good, good. If I've missed anyone out, I do apologise. Give us a shout if if I've missed you out, I do apologise. Did I say Mooties? Oh, I hope I did. <laughs> Everyone all good? Any everyone ready for another crappy stream? No, it's not. I'm, I'm only joking. Yeah, no oh, crap, I know that. We having a good laugh. That's what's most important. We are having a laugh, having a, enjoying ourselves. So Andrew, why do you want me to play that fucking game again? God's sake. Yeah, I just, I just hate looking at myself. Fucking, I really hate looking at myself. Bloody ass, especially when I hear myself. It's, I find it quite irritating. I can only feel sorry for you guys. <laughs> <coughs> any new games? I couldn't find any new quiz games. Um. I don't know, I'm tempt I might have a look at that other Trivial Pursuit later that I mentioned, so I might have a look at that. might start, well, I'm a little bit late tonight, so we'll see how it goes. I'll probably start the quizzes about 8 o'clock, maybe. We'll see, we'll see how the gaming goes, because I want to drink. Andrew, if you enjoy playing it, why don't you play it? Why don't you do a video on it? If you enjoy playing it so much, why don't you make a video? on um, Captain Dynamo because I don't really enjoy playing it that every stream Iggy Wrecking Iggy Wrecking Rules on the N64 alright we'll do that in a minute after when I play Captain fucking Dynamo. Oh bloody hell, Andrew please. Yeah, it is looking it is looking quite a downer. <coughs> I'll have to top it up soon. Get another one out of the fridge. It, Freddy, right? Okay, I'll have to remember all this. You have to remind me when I played the first game because I'm gonna forget. Where do I get my ROMs? I get my ROMs from a website called hang on, let me see if I can find the website. Um, and I'll put it, I'll put it in the description in the chat box. Might mess the stream up for a minute, but bear with me, it's gonna slow everything down. Um, where are we? Right, okay. That's where I get mainly all my ROMs from. I've got ever I've got mainly everything there. <laughs> Hello, Runny Eggy. Hi, how you doing, mate? I'm good. I'm good. Hello, 
It's, I think it's a French site, um, but don't worry about it. Everything's in it. All the games are in English, so and all like the, um, the names of the computers. You, 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 it's easy to find the ROMs. Uh, no, it's not a torrent file. It's not a torrent file. You just direct. It's the direct download. No, not emu. <laughs> mu. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind having a little bit of a chat, but I will get to the games in a minute because the 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 games are starting to. They've got three already, so. And I want to do them by eight o'clock because I can get on the quizzes and have a drink. <laughs> Hello, Era. How you doing, mate? Dodgy. What's dodgy? Oh no, no, no! Not it's not a dodgy site. It's a good. It's. Not a dodgy site at all, no, it's not dodgy. Oh, I'm good, thank you. Exactly, Glansman, exactly. Because when I get the gaming part done, I can have a drink and relax. Hello, Nicholas. Oh, for fuck's sake, is it Ness? Bloody right in there with the N64. Nicholas, I'm only doing gaming up to 8 o'clock. So let's get the gaming started, and Andrew's chosen the first game already. Right, let's get the emulators and let's start with the Amiga. <laughs> how about hello, how are you, you know? And, and Andrew, Andrew wants me to play the same fucking game again, so remember whoever's in the... Just remember what games you play, because I'm not going to remember. And keep them one at a time, if you don't mind. Andrew, Nicholas, I'm going to play your game. I'm going to play your game. Just, just, all I'm saying, just keep it one at a time and keep it in some sort of order, because I lose track of what people saying. Not having to go at anyone, just, oh, I don't know, let's get on with it. <laughs> right, okay. Captain Dynamo. Captain Dynamo. Oh God, here we go. I haven't set it up yet. Uh, figure out shit. 500. Oh, for fuck's sake. Here we go, let's have a quick go of Captain Dynamo, I'll try and... Right. <laughs> you can request it, Glasman, I don't mind, you know what's going on. Let's just hope where all these games work tonight. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I've chosen the wrong bloody ROM. I had this problem, I should delete that ROM. Where is that bloody wrong? Let's delete that one because that's the one that's giving me problems. Oh, I can't delete it. Why can't I delete it? Oh, you fucking arsehole. Just go for that one. Hello, Mad Commodore. How are you doing? Right, what's happening here? No, 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 we're not cheating. <laughs> right.
Why do you always why do you always want me to keep playing this every week then, Andrew? I'm not gonna like it anymore. I'm not gonna start liking it because I'm playing it every week, yeah. I'm gonna get what, what can I get up there? Oh, yeah, you got to push up. Keep forgetting about that. Oh, shit. Ah, I've lost a life already. Lost one life. And it'll start all the way from the bottom again. Oh, I've done it, almost done it again. I've got to get on the lift, don't I? Last life. And you gotta start all the way from the bottom again. This is I hate. Oh shit, almost died again. Come on, get on the lift. Jump them all that's close. Oh that was close again. Ah oh, shit! Right, it's game over. Right. Who's to, who chose the next game? Can, can you do this favor? Can you give me, if you can, just write type no, 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 don't worry. Alright, that's enough of that. There you go, Andrew, I played your game. Please don't. Please don't request it next time because I've played it twice in a row now. The game's been played. Yep, your game's... Andrew, your game is on the list. So don't have to keep reminding me. Right, who... who oh, I'll have to go up that list. I'll have to look who requested it next. Who requested the next one? Oh, I think it was um, after that it was Iggy Wrecking Crew on the N64. Right, N64, got to wait about 30 seconds for this to work. What's that? Yeah, what Captain Dynamo it is a little bit boring to be honest with you, especially when you played it. Yeah, the N60. I've had a lot, a few problems with the N64 emulator. Not all the games work properly, or they don't even work at all. What's the game? I've forgotten what the game was now. Right. 
Iggy's Wrecking Iggy's Wrecking Ball Right, okay I'm trying to go back up the list so Hello Neil, how you doing mate? So, no controller pack found, don't know what it's talking about Don't own an N64, never have done so I don't know what it means There's no... Right, it looks like there's no cutscenes, good, don't like cutscenes. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, difficulty, easy, easy. Well, this has got a, a vibration in it, but it doesn't seem to work with the emulator. Right, well, what do I do? Why isn't it? Oh, I just want to play the fucking game. What's your game, dude? Right, race. Where to? Easy street. Okay. Yeah, on Windows. supposed to do here? I don't even know what the buttons do. Alright, I don't know what does that. Alright, oh, okay. That completed bloody hell. Oh, that that one Fourth place, no, that was crap. <laughs> It's not a bad game. Oh, what's the matter, Nicholas? Okay, I get the joke. You can either call me Nicholas or Andrew. Hello, Andrew. How are you doing? Andrew Boris. All right, all right, Nicholas, calm down, mate. You'll get your you'll get your turn. There's some people in the queue. A fucking Yossi game, a fucking Mario game. Oh, that can wait till last day. <laughs> oh fuck! I would... Yossi, no. What is this game called? I've forgotten now. What's going on? Why can't I jump? Where's the jump button? Is that a jump button? I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. No, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, what's going on? What's the jump? Oh, that's the jump. Right, okay. All oh, made it. There we go. Ah! Oh, I'm actually shit at this. Right. Does anyone, you know, help me out a bit here? Who, who requested the games in order? Because that's what I like to do, if possible. I'm going to have to keep going up the list. Yep, we'll be doing a quiz about 8 o'clock. I'm a little bit late on tonight, so... Someone asked for Gauntlet 2, who asked for Gauntlet 2? That's, no, I think that'll work, but... Hello DVD, how you doing mate? Yeah, 8 o'clock we'll do the quizzes. Because I want a drink. <laughs> Okay, 
okay if not i play as i'm on the n64 i play what's his name yoshi's bullshit yoshi's story is that the one what nicholas wants me to play yoshi's bullshit it's a japanese oh no it ain't i've got loads of rooms for this let's just choose one and see if it works Wipeout. Hmm. I'll have to check that one out for sure. Yoshi bollocks. If this has got cutscenes. I'm gonna fucking go mad. Cutscenes. Right, language. Yeah. Clear memory. No options to um, make it easy then. No, of course there isn't. There's gonna be. There's gonna be bloody cutscenes in there. If I can't skip them I'm turning this fucking game off. Stu mate, how you doing? Right, does it got cutscenes? Let's just play it, mate. Yeah, it ain't. Reveal lucky fruit. Yeah, just get on with it. Fucking hell. No, it don't look bad. It don't look too bad, this game. I thought it was going to be another shitty... Well, I think... Mario 64. God, that would just be boring. It's like Rugrats. I found that... It was just the same bullshit. It was just boring. <laughs> This one looks quite interesting. Well, I can't go that way. Right, okay. Nice graphics. Well, I want to go this way. Oh, fuck off! Jump over it. Jump up. Why can't I jump over it? Oh, fuck off. Oh, I want to get up there so I can jump over. Why is it, why is it not letting me... Oh, it won't let you go. It won't let you. Oh, I have to go this way then. I'll probably have to go this way. What? Okay, classics. See you soon. Return to St. Saint yes. Oh, this is going to be... It's so... It's... <laughs> is it lagging for everyone? Because I don't know, I can't tell, I need your input. Alright, see you later. Alright, let's play another game. <laughs> let's play, let's have give that, let's give the Wipeout game a go, actually. Wipeout, that'd be, I quite like that on the PlayStation. Yeah, I can't help that. It's my internet. Can't do a thing about that. And it ain't working. Why ain't this working? Um. Here we go. Alright, come on, let's just play the thing. Oh, come on. <laughs> right, push start. Okay. Challenge. Single race. Another single race. I'll select this guy for the easiest. Oh. Just choose that one. Choose my sh Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Welcome. 
might have to do a review on it. I'll know what the buttons do. Wow, this looks pretty good. The controls ain't doing nothing. Autopilot. Autopilot. Oh, an autopilot. Oh, I'll get out of autopilot. Oh, I have. Damn. Alright, let's fly out. I'll work out my buttons now. Damn. What the? Okay, I don't know. It's a long, long time ago since I played Wipeout. Kind of don't even know what that one's fire. Critical shield and hard fire. Replay race, yes. Let's have another go. Three, two, one, go. Also, do I have a turbo button? I've got a request to um, do F0 on the N64. So I'm happy about that. a turbo button somewhere. Damn. Oh, bollocks. Ah, gotcha. Oh, come on! Right, is, everyone, is the stream okay? I think these Vibrose graphics are good, I quite like them. I quite like, because I quite like this game, I quite enjoyed it on the PlayStation. So it's good to see the, the N64, on the N64. I think I would prefer to play it on the PlayStation because I know the controller a lot better than I do the N64. Well, I haven't been using the PlayStation controller. That's my excuse. <laughs> but I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this version. Oh, oh, that was close. What happened there? Bull, bull, bullshit. Also got a request to do pilot wings on the N64 and all. That looks quite looks interesting.
I did review that kid on the uh, snares, didn't I? Bouncement. Oh shit, I was looking at the chat there. Bad luck. I'm quite impressed with that. <coughs> I'm really quite impressed with that. I might have to review that at some point. I have to wait a little because I've got quite a list at the moment. <laughs> Right, we've got half an hour. Um, who wants to request the next game? Yeah, I was saying about um, pilot wings. I've got a request. Uh, classics, classics are race. Um, request did a game, a white review of um, pilot wings on the N64. But uh, didn't you um, request uh, the Super Nintendo version? Yeah, that was Wipeout on the N64. Um, it did... <laughs> excuse me. While I'm hearing the uh, Super Nintendo... Not Super Nintendo. Um, the Amiga could support up to three fire buttons. But because the joysticks back in the day only had one, I didn't make many games that um, that utilised all three buttons. I played a few games that have two fire buttons. I mean, it'd be nice to have that option. They could have done it. I would like to play F Zero, but I won't because that's on the list. So I'll save that for another day. Well, that's impressive. I like that. I think the thing with the Mega Drive, it's suited for gaming. Where the Amiga, yes, it could do games, but you know, it's a it was an all round, it's a computer, so it's made to do all sorts of things on it. Not just gaming, where the Mega Drive, Mega Drive is basically a gaming machine. But um, I was much impressed. I'm not impressed really with the sounds on the Mega Drive. I mean, they're all right, but I much prefer the Amiga sounds. Road Rush 2. Okay, if no one's requested anything, we'll do that now. <coughs> oh, shit. Excuse me. Uh, Mega Drive. Oh, sorry. All right. Someone did say Gauntlet 2. We'll play that now. We'll play that now. And I'll do Road Rush 2. I had Commodore saying Gauntlet 2 on the CPC. And someone did say that. You did. It was you that said it right. A Commodore person saying a game on the Amstrad CPC. <laughs> Come on, where is it? Right, Gauntlet 2. This was awesome. This was awesome back in the day. Well, Road Rush 2, that was good. I've only played the first one, I think. Right. This is good only with two player, though. It's not as fun on your own. Right. Joystick and keyboard, F, F magic buttons, right. I always was the wizard. Red wizard. Alright, so I don't know. So 
someone's got to be there. No one was, no one chose her back in the day for some reason. <coughs> the Valkyrie. Right, let's go. Um, I first played this on the Commodore 64. The second, well, the first one I played on the first Commodore 64. Commodore 64 version was a little bit slow. Gauntlet 2. But this used the same graphics as the first one on the Amstrad. And they kept the speed, they kept... It was just brilliant. Oh. You bastard up and stun. Shit. This was awesome on the on the Amiga. You could play up to four players on that. If you had um, a joystick interface. You could have up to four joysticks. Oh. Ah shit. There's the exit. Ah, you bastard! There's the exit. Ah, oh. is that the it thing? There's only one player, so. I want to lose that thing. Ah! I've got a key and I. Oh, I made it to the exit's move. Oh, these, those things are bastards. Oh, no! How do I use your potion? Oh, shit. How the hell do I use my potion? Fuck off, you things. Oh, there's nothing in here. Yeah, I pushed space. Didn't work. I think it's one of the function buttons, but the problem is... I can push none lock, I think. Yeah, I prefer two-player, because you can get... Oh, fuck, where am I going? I need a key. Oh, there's the key. I have to go back to those bastard things. That's it, one of the function keys. And I still need a key. Oh, I've got a key. What am I talking about? I've got a key. What one do I go through? Anyone. Oh, right, so. Oh, there's the exit, but it's going to move, isn't it? I've got to anticipate where the exit's going to move. Oh, it has moved, bastard. So you might as well just stay in one area and wait for the exit to turn up. Just take pot luck. Right, it might turn up. Right, where's it going to go? Oh, it's gone somewhere else. Typical. Right, is the exit going to turn up? Oh, my elf is not looking good. Oh. There it is. Yes, that's lucky. Right, 
I need some food. Oh, what's that? Uh, some health, oh, lots of health. Oh, shots bounce off the walls. That's it. I don't have to go all the way around. These walls move. Uh oh. No! Keep away from those things. You can't kill those. Ah, oh, what? Right, is that wall going to move outwards? Is that wall going to move outwards? Yes! Ah! Oh. Where the exit is, isn't it? Oh God, I'm gonna die. That's it. I'm dead. That's a good game. That that's a really good game. But it, it's more fun when you play two player. Much more fun because you can just keep playing. One dies, you can just reappear and carry on with the game. But unfortunately, can't do that with one player. All right, let's play. doesn't seem to be a, any spectrum live streams. I'm sure there should be. I'm sure someone does live streams on the spectrum. I mean if someone requested a game on the spectrum I'll play it on the spectrum. Oh what am I doing? Oh, what, what's, what's going on? Start race by shot game off. Set password, copy password. That one mode. Right. Star race, fuck it. Right, that's going in. Oh, right, okay. Rumbleos, I don't remember Rumbleos. Lotus, the Lotus games I like. Also like Jaguar X Chasers when out of a good game on the Amiga. Ooh, damn it. Bloody hell, now I've got to run back and get my bike. Get on it. Ah, <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I'm looking at the chat and
Yeah, that's the only criticism I had with Lotus One. Is it only used um, half the screen in Player One? I think they fixed that with two. But it was still a good game. Oh, come on! Yeah, to be honest with you, I, probably people are going to think I'm an arsehole, but I did prefer Jaguar XJ220. I did like Lotus games, but I did prefer Jaguar XJ220. Because that, that, I know the third Lotus had um, course designer. But I don't know, I think... I don't know, I just prefer Jaguar XJ220 for some reason. Oh. Oh, that was a good game, coast to coast. I like the what I like when you can have the classic music as well. Oh, you bastard! Oh, I got away with it. I can't like. Oh, I'm sorry about that, clansman. But <laughs> Who said that? Yeah, it was what's his name, wasn't it? Someone had a go at me because I like Jaguar XJ220 better. Oh, come on! Oh, I right. will leave that one there. So, who wants to request another game? I mean, that's all right. It's not great. Road Rash 2. Superman on the Mega Drive. As we're on the Mega Drive, we can play Superman. Ah, oh, why not? What? Stefano played that in his stream, didn't he? Yeah, that's going to be shit, isn't it? Hang on. What's that? Oh, hang on. I'm on the wrong one. Damn it. Yeah, this is going to be crap. Thanks, DVD. <laughs> <coughs> I'll remember that when you do your next stream. <laughs> Push fire to play. Easy, practice, difficult, normal. Oh, we can't have easy. Right, okay. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a fucking piece of shit. Oh, is this a dead? Hang on. This is a different game, isn't it? Did Stefan... How did you fucking fly then? Oh, you can't fly it? Yeah, Stefano did play this, didn't he? Oh, Dizzy. I didn't really like Dizzy games that much. Just couldn't get into them. James Bond the Jewel. Right. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't a fan of the Dizzy games to be honest with you. I just couldn't. I only had the first one back in the day. And I only had that on a compilation pack. Right. Yeah, but Batman wasn't a superhero. Well, it wasn't. He didn't have superpowers or nothing. 
Right, jump, okay. Did I play this before? Game type, e manic, hard, normal, has to be normal. Start to play. I think I've played this before. I didn't like it. I don't think I liked it. I've played this before. Yeah, I remember quick snacks. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Oh, I've still got to play Mr. Blobby because that's been requested. <coughs> NBA, what's NBA Jam? That's not a baseball game, is it? I fucking hate baseball. Oh, I think I'm it fixed. What I think it is, I might have already played it. <coughs> yeah, I'm not liking this. I'm not liking it. I've not really played. Oh, I was a baseball, oh, ba basketball, even fucking up. I still can't stand basketball. Yeah, that's what I meant, basketball, not baseball. No, it's just, I'm, not, I'm not liking this. To be honest with you, I've not really played a decent James Bond game. Maybe, I, I'm not going to include Goldeneye, because that's fucking... Looks amazing, but... I don't think I'll ever have a time to play that. It's too complex. But... No, I don't think there's a decent James Bond game I've ever played. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really enjoying that, to be honest with you. Alright, well, we'll give that NBA thing and we'll call that one the last game of the, the, the stream, then we'll play some quizzes. How can I have a drink? <laughs> Right, let's get the SNES out. Alright, what is it called? Basketball. Basketball. If, hang on, I don't even think I've got it. I haven't got it. NBA? Oh, NBA All Stars, NBA, NBA Give or Go. Anyway, oh, NBA Jam. Is that what it's called? NBA Jam. Right. Let's see what this is going to be about. If it's going to be stupidly hard, then fuck it. Not playing it. Let's just play that one. Got lots of them. I'm gonna hate it. I just know I'm gonna hate it because I can't stand basketball. Can't stand baseball. Can't stand American football. Can't stand most American ball sports. I like their motor racing. That's about it. Actually, I'm, I'm not one for ball sports anyway. Tennis, I can't stand. Rugby, I'm not big into rugby. Uh, football only watch occasionally. If it doesn't have four wheels, I'm not interested. <laughs> right. Oh, 
fuck this, look at this. I don't know what I'm fucking gonna do, but let's just play a game. Are you in issues? No, fuck it. I know I'm gonna be absolutely shit at this gun, oh, for fuck's sake, let's just play the game. Right. Right, uh, well, why can't I just play the game? Oh, well, pick my opponent. Why is, why is, why is it on two, oh, right. Um, right, I'm going to have to do it next time. Because I'm going to be playing the, um, quizzes. If I, if I, oh, I'm not going to like this. I'm not going to like this. Actually, I'm, I know I'm not going to like this. What's... I ain't got a fucking clue what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, that was interesting. You can beat him up. Yeah, I'm not. It's basketball. Don't interest me. Right. International... Oh, fucking hell. International basketball. Another basketball game. Oh my god. I don't have a PS PS2 emulator. I don't intend to at the moment. Because I ain't even got a PS1 emulator. Everyone I'm getting everyone saying, oh you gotta get a PS1 emulator. I'm not ready for the PS1 emulator at the moment. I've got too many too many other systems that I'm covering. Yeah, I'm not interested in basketball. Not my thing. Not my game. Alright. Oh, God! Oh, that was fucking... Yeah, Michael Jordan this. Michael Jordan that. International wheelchair. Yeah, that would be much better to play. International wheelchair soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Yeah, I'm not I'm not interested in this game. It don't interest me. I had I had a real PS2. I used to have a real PS2, but it's like all consoles, I get bored of them. I got bored I ended up selling my I had two. I had two PS2s. Uh, when I was living over here with my wife, then we sold it to move to America. I had one in America as well. And I ended up trading it in, but I got bored of it. Um, I had a Nintendo Wii. Bought one over here, got bored of it, traded, um, ended up selling it. Bought a PlayStation 3, I got bored of it, ended up selling it. So every console, I've, what I've had, I've sold because I basically got bored of my consoles. Nintendo Wii was good, but that was good if you <laughs> had a part of you playing. Because that was a great console. Yeah, PS1. I will eventually when I get round to it. I might get a PS1 emulator, but I'm not interested at the moment because I'm just covering too many systems at the moment. I mean, the N64. You know, there's probably games on the N64 that was on the PlayStation I do, but, or even on the PC. Well, I was more of a PC person than a console person. Oh, look, the reason why I, I bought a PS3 because it had a Blu-ray because you could watch Blu-rays on it. That's the reason. One of the reasons why I bought a play, PlayStation 3 because of the Blu-ray. But we should have the PlayStation 5 coming out next year. <laughs> yeah, because it was on cartridge. That's why they were so expensive. You know, the C CD-ROM, DVD-ROM was the way to go. Cheap. Cheap to produce. Anyway, 8 o'clock. It's time for the quiz time. Right, what do you reckon we should play first? Family Feud? Nah, I'm not going to... I'm not bothering any more consoles. I just... 
a waste of time. I just get bored of them and I just end up selling them. I've got my PC, that's good enough. Um, the last game that I've got was Wreckfest, and that was pretty good, but I've already completed it. <laughs> All right, let's get on with this. Um, I'm not playing the um, Mega Drive version because I did not like that version. Basically, because you have to use the control controller to bloody put your bloody words in, letters in. It's just stupid. Shouldn't have been made for that. All right, okay. going on? Oh right, okay. <laughs> right, select a number. Right, oh, All right, so one family. Right, family one. Right, six done. Oh, no. No. The YouTube family. Insert the question, did the. Yeah. Oh shit! Cause I, why couldn't you push fire? Right. How many hours it take to clean your house from top to bottom? Right, I think there's a better answer. Any answers? Because I bloody sped the bloody emulator up too much. Can't, can't restart the game. Seven, right. Oh, we didn't beat the computer, so they they're in control. So what are we gonna do? Play or pass? The Joneses. Oh, Miss Jones. Oh, Miss Jones. Was that twelve hours? Half your day to clean the fucking house. We got a mansion. Mind you, them American houses are quite big. Right, no one's got the top answer yet. <coughs> yeah, we're talking about Americans here. <laughs> right. Bloody hell, look like only 48 hours? Joking. Probably take a student 48 hours to clean his flat. Oh! Zero hours. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, we can still think of an answer. We could still. Oh, we can still. We can still. We can still. <laughs> think enough. Think of an answer. <coughs> oh, classics is saying five hours. Right. Should we say five hours? See, we can steal the game. Yes! Well done, Classics! 
we've stolen the game. Well, we stole the money at least. Right, get my drinks. Oh, six hours a top answer, and eight hours. Bloody hell. Okay, well at least we stole the money. Right. Name a cheap item in a restaurant. In restaurants. Why are you thinking of an answer? Mm. I'm going to get my drink. Fortune cookie. Right. Okay, so we have some interesting answers here. Water, fortune cookie, um, chips, ketchup. Well, we don't pay for ketchup. Yeah, but you got to call them fries. Don't call them chips in America. All right, so what answer do you reckon? I'm going to try and get for the chop cheap item of a restaurant. Fry, I would say fries. Oh no, it's a shit. It's the bottom answer. I bet the computer's going to get it. Salad. Well. Yeah, but what I don't think costs anything. What are they doing? Oh, oh, we're on the board. We're on the board. Right, they passed. Um, let's have a look at a fortune cookie. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's one gone. Um, water? I don't think so. No. Rolls. No, no roll. You're not talking about a Rolls Royce, are you? <laughs> Mac and cheese. Oh, what are they going to say? Are they going to steal? Are they going to steal? Beer. Oh, what did they get? Toast. Oh, I could have said, I was going to say bread. Oh, <coughs> oh dear, they've stolen a the game. Soup. Right, so, hamburger, coffee, soda, tea, soup, someone said soup, hot dog, milk, eggs. Right, name the shoe size of the average man, numbers only. Right, <coughs> American sizes are different from UK sizes. Right, size nine. Oh, number two answer, well done Matt. Can they get the top answer or are we going to go through? Oh, eight. You said Maltese. <coughs> Number four. Do you want to play? Would well, you want to play? Play or pass? Hmm. 
And classic says play, we'll play. Right. Name a shoe size of the average man. Eight's already been said. Right, classic says ten. Well done, top answer classics, well done. And Stewie Man, is that how you pronounce Stewie Man? Yeah, ten. Right, seven, Matt says. Yes, it's on there, Matt. Well done. Eight's already been said, Jason. Matt says 11. Yes, that's number three answer. Well done. Classic says six. <coughs> <coughs> oh, six ain't there. Eight, yeah, eight's the, yeah. Computer said eight. Right, 13. No, two, no, one more. They can steal. <laughs> 12, did we say 12? No, it's up there though. Just three answers to find. I don't know if we can do 7.5, I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it'll allow that. No. Now they can steal. Oh, we won the game, we won the game. Nine and a half, ten and a half, eight and a half, oh all right, okay. Name, name a month, name a month in the basketball season. I ain't got a clue, we just, <coughs> was playing a basketball game, anyone know about basketball? July. No, it's not July. Don't know fuck all about base basketball. March. Oh, we're only going to play our pass. They passed. So we're in control, right, um, June, no, November, <coughs> yes, November's up there. <laughs> December yes December's up there right October September No, October's not there. September. Yep, September's there. Alright. January, January's there. Top answer. Well done. All right. 
18 rated, huh? February? I spelt that right? No, I haven't. Yep, February's there. Just two more to get. August, have we said August? No! So the computer can steal. Come on, tick up, come on, get it wrong, you bastards. Oh, they got it! What is it, April? Oh, shit. May. Oh, I think the computer's won. Bastards. Hello Starshine, how you doing? Let's have another go actually. Why do we have to keep swapping the discs? Why do we have to do that? speed up the emulation on this. This is Family Feud. Oh shit! I didn't fucking... Name something that kids... Right, we can... Right, we can... We can... Right, it's Family Feud. This is the American version of Family Fortunes. Right. <coughs> Name something that kids have a favourite one of. Oh, Mac. <laughs> A toy. Yep. Toy, top answer. Well done. Starshine. Uncle, teddy bear. Good answers there. A dildo. <laughs> <laughs> a Paul Mac. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to pass or play. Play, okay. Right. Let's have a look. Toy, uncle, uncle. Yeah. Uncle, oh, it's already been used. Uncle's already been used. Right. Um, a teddy bear. No, teddy bear's not there. Food, blanket. Yep, food's there. Blanket, dummy. We did, we, we did, oh, okay. Right, a blanket. Yes, blankets there. Yeah, but they don't call it a dummy over in America, though. They call it something else. You've got to think American. Right. Pacifier.
No, test pacifier's not there. Poor Max. <laughs> Brand of booze. You can't drink in America until you're 21. <laughs> Teacher? Yes, teacher's there. Well done. Pillow. Well done, Neil. TV show, that's another good answer. Yep, TV show's there. Number two answer. Well done, classics. Pillow. Favourite pillow? Dog dealer. <laughs> Drug dealer. <laughs> No, pillow's not there. <coughs> <coughs> Drug dealer. <laughs> oh, now the Jones can steal. Oh, <laughs> favorite Pokemon? I don't think Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon, whatever that is. <laughs> Pokemon. Oh, we've won the game. We won that. We won eighty dollars. Friends, well, that could be a good answer. Yeah. Relative. Colour. Oh, friend was already there. Friend was already. Oh. Name a sound that can lull you to sleep. I'm sure we had this one last time. Name a sound that can lull you to sleep. <laughs> Ocean waves. Put waves. No waves ain't there. Rain. React two for rain. That could have been a steam song. <laughs> <laughs> oh music! Top answer, but the computer got that. What are they gonna play or pass? Oh, we're past, so we're on the board. Right, what well, we got? Rain. Yep, rain's there. Number two answer. Maltese and well, I said rain. No, just more. Oh, classics is rain. Um, birds. Birds. No, birds not there. Depending on what bird you're talking about. <laughs> Swearing. <laughs> Tick tock of a clock. A clock? Yeah, a clock. Clock there. Ticking clock. Well done, Starshine. Wow song. A song? Did we, oh, that's already. I don't know if that's going to be there. No. Yeah, music. So it, yeah, but. Pan pipes. Uh, oh, we got this. Has got to be the right answer. I don't know about pan pipes, but I don't know. Al Gore. <laughs> Radio, yeah, radio. Or would it be used? Or would it be used? So that might be music, might come under music. Nursery rhyme? A nursery rhyme, yep. Yeah. No! No, oh, wonder what that missing answer could be. White noise. No, we've won the game. Won the round, rather. The ocean. I'm sure, someone did say the ocean. Double money! Right. Name something you can do 
on the average of once a week. <laughs> <coughs> say it, I know someone's going to say it. <laughs> Change bed. Ah, oh. I thought it was something else. Yes, DVD, I knew you would say it. Yes, Clansman, I knew you would. Someone had to say it. Grocery shopping. Change bed. Uh, take a dump. <laughs> shopping. I'll say, sh yes. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Star shine, that's the top answer. I had a feeling about that. Right, do you want to play or pass? <laughs> Play. Right. Right. Um, change bed. Laundry. Change sheets. Yes, change sheets. Bed sheets. Um, well done. Classics. Uh, laundry. Yes, star shine, that's up there. Pay bills. What, once a week? Bloody hell. Depends on the bills, I guess. Cleaning, that's a good answer. Yep, cleaning's up there. Well done. Maltese. Uh, my, Dustin might come under cleaning, I don't know. Right, pay bills. Nah. Wash hair. Wash. Well, once a week, bloody hell. No! Shop is shopping is bath bath mm. no oh can the computer steal oh go out they got it they've got stole the game <coughs> What sport? What's that? Go to church. Mow lawn. Get gasoline. Okay. Oh, 153 space, 110. Oh, this is triple money. Name something found on a golf course. We've had this before. Caddy, what was the hole? You know, we had um, what was the top? What could be the top art answer? Hole, I reckon. No. Golf ball, caddy. I was just thinking, what could be the top answer? Name something. Oh, they're playing. Golf balls. Multi says that. Hey? Oh, we're playing. Oh, they must. Oh, right. It's out. Right. Right. Where are we? Caddy. No, Caddy ain't there. Uh, golf balls have been said. Club. Golf club. Yep. Flags are up there. No, people ain't there. <laughs> no, clubs are not there. Damn. I think we could lose this. 
<laughs> oh, can the computer still? Oh! Bunkers? No, you don't call them bunkers over there. Golf carts. Someone said golf carts. But no one got the top. No one got the top answer though. Grass. Bloody hell, they've been smoking teas. Holes. Sand trap, that's what they call them. Golfers. I said people, that could have Right, still ain't over yet. Ah oh, fucking hell, now it is over. Bloody hell, we still ain't got the top thing. Right, okay. Let's go on the trivial pursuit. Right, I'm curious. Right, a new beginning, that was... The Nouvelle Generate, oh it's French only. That's French only. That's French. Young Players Edition. Did we play that the other day? We did, didn't we? What was the one that I said looked interesting? A lot of these are all fucking French. A new beginning. Wonder what that is. Let's try a new beginning. Bastard. Why well, didn't work? What's going on? Ah, oh, fucking hell. It's not working. Let's try another run. Right, this one seems to be working. So, question disc. I don't know what this one's going to be like. Come on. It don't work. No, it does work. I don't know what this one's going to be about. I don't know what this is all about. I don't like this. No, fuck that. Let's just go back. Let's go to somewhere we know. Ah, oh, this is. Let's just go. Yeah. So that we do, baby boomer. Hello Stefano, how are you doing? Sorry, I can speak, <laughs> yeah, but the problem is no one else can speak any other foreign language. <laughs> I don't know, perhaps you can, I can't. Timey, yeah, right, okay. Drive B. Right. Hang on a minute, what's going on here? Okay, here we go. Right, okay, okay. Now we're back on now we're back on course. Right.
we we'll also choose the letter. Right, B, did Martin say B? Right, B, right, all right, we'll go with B. Start game. Sorry, right. Yeah, them other ones, there was a problem with that. I don't know, that looked crap, that, whatever it was. It's not Trivial Pursuit. Right. So. Right, what the bloody hell's going on? Silver screen. RPM. Red. Blue. Orange. Shitty colour. Silver screen, okay. What actually was Pink Panther? What actually was a Pink Panther? It was a, it's a diamond, wasn't it? A diamond, yes, well done. Ah! Right, we have to go with RP. Who did Billy J. Kramer and the... <coughs> who, who did Billy J. Kramer and the Beatles share? The manager? Marijuana. Birds, Epstein, the air, the manager. <laughs> right, let's find out. The manager, Brian Epstein. Yes, well done, Starshine. And well done, Clansman. can go for a wedge. News. What famous female tennis star died of cancer in June 1969? I ain't got a clue. Conley, well done Stefano, or a little Mo. That's a wedge, brilliant, good start. Four, right, what do you want to go, blue or shitty colour? <coughs> Was she in EastEnders? Starshine says blue. Who, according to Benny Hill, was Milkman only arch rival? Ah, oh, shit. Fred. Fred Scuttle. Fred Scuttle. Fred Scuttle could be right. Let's find out. Two ton Ted from Teddington. <laughs> It's alright, never mind. Two. Ooh. 
Oh, ah. Be red, won't it? Well, it could be shitty colour. It doesn't matter what way we go. Would you reckon red or shitty colour? Right, shitty colour it is. Life and times. Which, what? <laughs> what ex army coat was the fashion for mods? Which are this um, trench coat, wasn't it? A duffel coat. Parker. Parker, that's it. The Parker. Well done, Starshine. Free all. Oh, blue wedge publishing. With whom did Emil have an adventure in an Harry? Yeah, whatever that says. Harry Caster, yeah. From whom did <coughs> Emil have an adventure in an. Yeah. Let's get more to come. Detectives. Right, Stefano, we'll see. It's the detectives. Well done, Stefano. And that's another wedge. Three, right, let's get go this way around the board. So it's RPM. <coughs> Excuse me. Which famous Liverpool nightclub did Silla Black use to sing? Tunic, the cabin, the cabin or tunic? Let's find out. It's the cavern. And Maltese was right on that one. Surprise, surprise. In what year did South Vietnam surrender to the North? I do not know. 60 something. Nineteen seventy sixty four seventy five seventy two sixty nine sixty four seventy five seventy two or sixty nine. Let's find out. Seventy five and Neil was right on that one. This way, grey. Oh, come on. Oh, we can go for a wedge. RPM.
Right. Was was Karen Carpenter's instrument the violin, the guitar, or the drums? Right. Drums, drums, drums. Right. Everyone saying drums. The drums, and it's correct. And it's another wedge. Well done, everyone. We're on fire tonight. Alright, Fawn, how are you doing? Right. Uh, right, we need to get, either get that one or go down here. What do you reckon, silver screen or red? Star shines is red. What is at position X on Doctor Who's TARDIS? Well, a lot of Doctor Who fans here. You've got to know that one. The telephone. You and me both clansmen, I know nothing about Doctor Who. Telephone plus police box rules. Right. The police telephone. Of course. Yes, well done. I thought you was a Doctor Who, but I thought you liked Doctor Who DVD. Or is it classics? I don't know, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> right. Three. Right, grey again. Six. Right, what do you want to go for? Orange or RPM? <coughs> Alright, thanks for coming on, Mark. Take care of yourself, mate. Shitty, there's no shitty. Bloody hell, you love, must be lagging, Maltese. Okay. Right. Orange or RP orange, right. Multis is orange. What industry did Mr. Derek Ezra take charge of in nineteen seventy one? Coal? Two for coal. Coal ball was three for coal. Right, we'll go with coal then. The coal industry, well done. Three, right, grey. Six. Oh, RPM. No, we ain't got RPM. What am I talking about? Silver screen or light blue? <coughs> mm. <laughs> Come on, classic. Um, Clansman, you can do, you do well. You do well. Right, classic says blue. No one's saying silver screen, that's a surprise. Which daily paper is racing century with senior members of the royal family? We've had this one before, and it wasn't what we thought it was. It's a sporting life, I'm sure it is.
I think it's a sport in life. Yeah. Because I'm sure I remember we had this one before. Well done, Clansman. Two. Oh. Alright, orange or blue? <laughs> oh, it's an ounce. That's why I usually drink. Well, I don't. <laughs> but it's usually why I would go and drink if it's got if it's a pub. Yeah. All right, orange. Which party lost all its three hundred and three deposits in the nineteen seventy nine general election? Deputy. It was Labour. Weren't, weren't um, Tory because Thatcher got in, didn't they? She got in. Labour. The National Front. It's alright. Don't worry. One. All grey. Six. Oh God. Uh, red or shitty colour? Yeah, yeah. The touch of glass. Oh, that was a, that was classic. That was chandeliers. Right. Here we go. Um, multi has got in there. What Canadian said? I am officially resigning as Prime Minister's wife. His wife. <laughs> I did prefer our Uncle Albert. I mean, Grandad was good, but I did prefer. He was a little bit more funnier. During the war. During the war. <laughs> yeah, Miss Miss President. No, it's Canadian. Canadian. Miss President. <laughs> oh, it was a good, it was a good sitcom. Ah, almost said that in all classics. Almost said that. <laughs> yeah. What Canadian? Let's find out. Margaret. I don't think none of us would have got that. But then again, I don't know. You're all cleverer than me. Four. Oh, go for silver screen or wedge. Who was the first Beatle to appear in a non Beatles film? John Lennon? One for Lennon, one for Ringo. Who remembers? Who remembers Crit Ringo's crisps? Who remember those? With the, it's like a massive hula hoop, I think, wasn't it? <coughs> George Harrison, hundred percent. It was John Lennon. Oh no, that was for a wedge. I can't accept. Someone did say it and all. I can't accept it. Because it was for a wedge. Can't accept it.
because the way Tuesday got to be exactly right. You know, because I went for the hundred percent one. I can't. Ex I can't accept that one. Right, red or orange? All right, don't worry, class. It's only a bit of fun. It's about enjoying playing the game. That's all it that matters. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. all right. We might see a YouTube fight. <laughs> Do you want to go for red or orange? Well, DVD lives in Manchester, I think. Or near Manchester. Can't be Pacific on that one. Right, orange. Oh, stop, Paul. Okay. What co colonel, colonel, overthrew King Idris in 1969? I've never been up north. Never been up north. I've only been down south. Got a fifth. Got it. Got it. Yeah, whatever. Well done, Stefano. And Fawn got that one right too. Right, what we got? Oh, grey. Four. Oh, grey again. Two. Oh, we can go for silver screen again. Which star had a leading role with the Christian name of Vito in 1972? Stefano knows his stuff. Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando, right? It's Marlon Brando. Two in there with Marlon Brando. It's Marlon Brando. And it's absolutely correct. Well done, Stefano. Well done, classics. And that's another wedge. And Thorn got that one right too, and Klansman, and yeah, so that's another wedge. Two more to get. Let's maybe try and get the shitty colour as we're right near it. Uh, what one do we have to get? Red. We're closer to shitty colour, let's try and get shitty colour first. Alright, thanks for coming on, Stewie Me, Stewie Me, Stewie Yeah, thanks for coming on, mate. Right. Which 50s radio family had a Scottish maid called Aggie? Stewie Me, yeah, Stewie, Stewie. The Archers. Is it the Archers? Which 50s radio family had a Scottish. The Hitler. The Hitler. Oh, oh. <laughs> the Eddie Hitlers. Let's go with the archers. It's the lions. Oh, I didn't have a clue. 
<laughs> Two R. Ah, red or blue? <coughs> red or blue? And that's it. Right, multi says blue. Okay, publishing. What animals led to what animals led the revolution in Georgia Wells Animal Farm? Pigs. Right, two for three for pigs. Right, we go for pigs, and pigs is correct. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Even get the little picture look. Alright, so let's go for grey. Fight all oh, ah, we've already got it, haven't we? We've already got it. Um well we'll stay close to shitty colour, so we have to go with blue. Whose name whose name on Krypton was Kara? Whose name on Krypton was Kara? Kara. Superman. That's Kara. Was it Superman? Supergirl. Superman. Supergirl. Right, Supergirl. Well done, Stefano. What? Five has to be RPM. Eyes of what nationality? <laughs> eyes of which nationality? What? Spanish eyes? Okay, Spanish eyes. Scottish eyes. <laughs> Okay, Spanish eyes. I tend to go with Spanish eyes, and you're absolutely right. There's Clansman. Right, we can go for shitty colour wedge. What singer, which singer of the Bond theme song did James Taylor marry? What singer of the Bond theme song did James Taylor marry and it weren't Nancy Sinatra? This singer of the Bond theme song? Carly Simon. Well done, classics. Of course, she sung. Um, fuck. The Spire Loves Me. The fight Spire Loves Me too. And that's another wedge. Nobody does it better. Right, now we've got to go all the way around to get the, the red one. Go that way, I guess. Oh my god, what's that? What was the meter called first used in electro electron electricians? In by the BBC. Me, uh, oh, all right. Swing a meter. 
surely. The swing meter, well done. <laughs> Right, six. I know we've got it, but be quicker to go that way. That wouldn't. Would it? I don't know. Is it Equid? Hang on, that's grey, so let's go with that. For another grey. There's another grey. Bloody hell. And silver screen. Bloody hell, that took us no time to get there. Who played Dutch Who played Dutch Chicago's mistress? Judy Christie, hundred percent. Okay. Judy Christie, well done, classics. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, oh, we have to be shitty colour. What did grocer Alec Rose do in 1968 that brought him fame? did that did he you don't know all right let's find out I don't think he sailed around the world not quite wanking though no, but there you go Perhaps he did on the boat, if he was alone, I don't know. What do you do on a boat alone? Sailing around the world, you've got to do something. Ah. Right, shitty or, shitty colour or orange? Bloody hell, you lagging, Neil. Bloody hell, Sal. Orange, okay. What banknote ceased to be legal tender on 20, 21st of November 1970? Which banknote ceased to be legal tender? A pound? Twenty-five pound note. Pound note went. Yeah, it did. Yeah, the pound note went to nineteen eighty-three or something like that. It's got to be old money. It's got to be something old money. Shillings. I think the shilling was a coin. Five shilling, no. <laughs> ten bob. Let's find out. The ten shilling, no. Someone did. Oh. Fool was so close on that one. And so was Neil saying ten bob. Do you know what? Between you got that one right, well done. Weren't for a wedge, so don't have to be Pacific. Oh, 10 bob is 10 shillings, all right. You got that one right, well done. 
I got it. I said you could get it right. Oh, we, oh no, no, no. Oh, come on. Right, that's a be shitty colour. <laughs> Did these first appear on British cans in 1956, 61? Oh, it's the old ring pools. Who remembers the ring pool? Don't have them no more. Probably would say, oh, British, yeah, British, British. <laughs> nah, nah, it's, nah, it's 66. It's 66. Well done, Starshine. RPM. Orange, okay. What was Prince Philip's naval rank when Princess Elizabeth married him? What's that? Rank or wank? Um, yeah, rank. Captain, wasn't it? Yep. Starshine seems to agree. Well done. Lieutenant, we were both wrong there, we were both wrong. Six, oh, here we go, we can go for the red, wet, red, 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 red wedge. How many Marx Brothers appeared in Animal Crackers? I'll let you think about that one where I've got to go somewhere. Right, right, okay. So, three, two, two, four, four, nine. All right, bloody hell, this is full wedge, so we need to be Pacific. <laughs> You're looking at the orange bottle hiding in the corner.
four, oh, bloody Stefano. All right. Okay, four. It looks Stefano knows his stuff. Right. Okay, we'll go with four. It's for the wedge. It's four. Well done, Stefano. Jason said that four as well. That's for another wedge. Ooh, all the wedges. Now we get back to the centre. Five. Uh, let's go for RPM. Gloom juice. <laughs> for what song did Perry Como win his only Grammy award was it magic moments magic moments classic scene not clan clansman seems to have yeah is that ma magics yeah let's have a look could be magic moments no catch a falling star Colour, we're going for RPM, red, blue, orange, shitty colour. No point going for red. Alright, Starshine says red. Broadcasting. Who was the black restaurant guitar? Restaurant? What the fuck am I? Who was the black resident guitar player and singer on BBC's Tonight program? Couldn't get away with that anymore, could you? Jimi Hendrix? I would tend to agree with that. And what did um, Stefano say in Cy Grant? Oh, you 100% on that? I think Stefano seems to know. I think Cy Grant. It's Cy Grant. Well done, Stefano. I should never say that to you, you 100%. Stefano always knows. Oh, what can we go for here? So we orange, shitty colour, silver screen, RPM or red. No, but you know your stuff, Steph, no. Orange, right, classic says, or no, 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 Maltese got in there first with shitty colour. Which philosopher? Which philo philosopher? Help! Found this group in 1958. Okay, Phil Mc. <laughs> Phil McCrevis. Oh fucking hell! I fell for that one, classics. I fell for that one. Lennon, John Lennon. <laughs> right, uh, John Lennon. I don't know. Some hippie. Some some hippies. Yeah, that was that one's pretty obvious. I'm not saying that. Bend that. Well, bend over. Yeah, let's find out. Bastard Russell. Well, oh, bet bench, but yeah, that. I don't think no one got it. Mm. 
One! Oh! This is it! Plasmid Star! But, oh, right. Okay, sorry. Right, what's going to be the subject of the game? <laughs> yes, Starshine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if there's any other girls in here. Or was there any other girls in here? I don't know, I think you're the only girl. <laughs> That's alright. Right. Well, the only lady, I should say lady. Lady. Oh, come on, Oog. No. Right. DVD says silver screen. Silver screen. Silver screen. Here we go. Silver screen. This is for the game. Which French police inspector had the first name? Jack. Jack Clouseau. Oh, Inspector Clouseau. Yes, it is. Inspector Clouseau. And that's for the game. And you know what that means, don't you? That knackers me out. <laughs> you know what we're going to do I know we got an hour but I want to try that other one out that's French shame that's French and then we get Oh, we did that. That's crap. That's crap. That's crap. Right, choose, uh, yeah, we do that pop quiz in a minute. I just want to give this one a go. See how, let's see, um, this is the young one we played last week, the young, um, yeah, I'm thinking we'll do that one next week, Mike Reads. Um, pick, all right, see, this is the young one, the one we played last week, start going. See how easy it is tonight, because I know we've got about over an hour. Two. Well, where do you want to go? Red, blue, orange, shitty colour. Right, shitty colour. <laughs> so we should have easy questions tonight. G times. What's G times? What did little dog do when the cow jumped over the moon? Take a, took a dump. Laughed. 
Laughed. Well done, Starshine. Well done, Maltese. And well done, everyone. It looks like it's an easy. It's going to be an easy game. Right. Freeze. Um, keep warm places. What continent? What continent is Egypt in? Africa. It's Africa. Well done, everyone. We've got some easy questions. <laughs> not so. Not much. Not so much on your. Well, I don't know. That's what Trivial Pursuit's all about, isn't it? Using your brain. But now you can just switch off a little bit and enjoy yourself. Right, silk No, it's not silver screen. It's game and H, or shitty colours. G and times. Right, games it is. What are the points to which you run in baseball called? Bases. Yep, base. Oh, go for a wedge. Art and culture. Which Richmond Cromptons who wrote the William William book, a man or woman? Well, that's an easy question. It, well, I don't know. Which Richmond Crompton? Which Richmond Crompton who wrote the William books, a man or woman? Arshine says, woman. Woman. A woman. And it's 100%. And it's right. That's a wedge we got already. Well done. Alright, one. What way we got this RPM in it? So. No, it ain't. It's people and places. And we ain't got RPM. What flags combine these flags? The Union Union Jack. Oh, it's the Union flag now. We can't call it the Union Jack anymore. But this was back when we was calling it the Union Jack. Even the computer agrees. Yes. No, it's not called the Union flag. We call it the. I still call it the Union Jack. I don't give a fuck what a PC brigade says. Ah, there's another wedge we can go for. Can you write to the ROM on a computer? No, you can't. Read only memory. That's another wedge. Right, okay. Ah, oh, bastard. Right, shitty or orange? Um, G and Times or Art and Culture? Shitty it is. Which Muppet refers to himself as Molly? Muy. Muy. Which Muppet refers to her? Oh, herself. It's Miss Piggy, isn't it? Yeah, Miss Piggy. Well done, everyone. Oh, six. Oh, oh, no, we've already got that, haven't we? 
for oh red wedge red wedge is nature nature our house flies deaf I don't know I've never tried talking to one Clansman says they are deaf. Mad Commodore seems to agree, as a, a, a guess. Are they deaf? Let's find out. Yes, they are deaf. Well done. That's another wedge. <laughs> One. Right, has to go that way. Whose car number plate is well one 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 what car number plate is one one The Wombles, yeah The Wombles The Wombles World well Arm Maltese Wonder Woman. Has to be games and H. <coughs> 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 what might you be playing with this wild? What might you be playing on while singing this? A karaoke? <laughs> I can't. How do you play it again? Do you know? I don't. How do you repeat it? Ah. Oh. Oh, hang on, you just push your key. playing on while singing this I don't know fire engine a seesaw all right it's the first question we got wrong that's all right and we can go for another wedge at people and places City. Uh, Bethlehem, Royal David, David City. Let's find out. Royal David's, well done. You all said that. And that's another wedge. Well done, everyone. Right, so only well, ooh, we're doing well, we're doing very well. Five. Damn it. Oh, another wedge! Games and H. How many drafts are there on the board at the start of play? How many drafts? are on the board how many drafts are on the board at the start of play 420 
Ooh, ooh. Got lots of different answers here. This is for a wedge, we've got to be right. Got lots and lots of different answers. This is drafts, not chess. Right, I need a hundred percent on this one. Someone, if someone comes up with hundred percent, well, two for twenty-four. Morty says, "What is your sixty-four hundred percent?" Sixty-four. Okay, that's the hundred percent. That's all I need. It's twenty-four. Oh no, I can't accept it because I went for 64. Can't accept it. Science and technology. It's Saturn. What is this planet? It's Saturn. <laughs> what game console had a name called the Saturn? No, what games manufactured console had a game? Yeah, that's what I should have said. <laughs> Right, blue or orange? <laughs> All right, Starshine says blue. Oh, Morty's got in there first. Sorry, Morty's, you got in there first. I didn't see that. Sorry. Do electrons light or pixel? Do electrons light? Or pixels hit the back of a TV screen to make the picture. Do electrons light or pixels hit the back of the TV screen to make the picture? Electrons. It ain't pixels. Right, so electrons. It's electrons, well done. Yep, I like technology creations. I watch I watch his channel, it's a very good channel. Right, orange or blue? Orange, all right, orange, I saw that one first. Who wrote the ballot shoes? Who wrote ballot shoes? Yeah, I do, I do. I do agree with you there, DVD. I do watch Tech Moans. Brilliant channel. Brilliant channel. Technology Creations. Yeah, I watch them both. So I like. It's fascinating. They talk about the old technology and stuff I didn't even know, like the CED. I never knew about the. I never knew there was a video vinyl disc. All the different cassette formats who I didn't even know about. Oh, Tetmoan's bloody awesome. I like his dry, dry, dry sense of humour. It's fucking brilliant. Especially he does that little puppet show at some of the end of his videos.
Right, what are we going for here? Days a bit, not fair. <laughs> well, I knew about the Betamax because we did own a Betamax before. The, I'm talking about audio cassettes, all the different audio cassettes that I never knew about. Hard group. Nice Christian. Really. No, did anyone say that? I don't think no one did. <laughs> I think there's a couple we got wrong now. Right, we'll go for the wedge again. That's um, James and H. James and where's the H? What is the maximum number of white spots on a normal domino? The maximum is six. No, wait a minute, the maximum... No, it's not. It's 12. Twelve, yes. Well done, it said 12. That's a wedge we got. Two sixes, yeah, that's right. 12. Right, one more wedge to get. Nature. Which is the only true bear? The koala, the panda, or the, the Kodiak? I wasn't going to say Kodak there, that's a fucking camera. The koala. The panda bear, yeah, yeah, I think it is the panda bear. It's the Kodak, Kodiak. And Neil said the Kodiak, and Neil did say that, but I'll give him that. I'll get on Clansman, I'll say that because it weren't for a wedge. It weren't for a wedge. If it was a wedge, I would, would have been more stricter. Right. Ooh, talking about wedges. Good times. Which famous old group? does Mick Jagger sing for oh my goodness I think that's too easy wouldn't be the Rolling Stones by any chance would it of course it's the Rolling Stones that's all the wedges we got now and then we get to get to the centre no satisfaction four that's gaming what's H you know did someone say H Games and hobbies, that's it. In chess, can a pawn become a queen? No, a bishop goes sideways and can turn into a queen. <laughs> right, yes, everyone's saying yes. Yes. That's correct, I never knew that. Don't play chess. Right, four. Right, shitty colour. Orange. Blue, red, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't play chess, so I wouldn't have known that. Shitty colour says Maltese. Good times. What puppet show might might make a lot of important people cross? Ain't Punch and Judy, is it? That's the way to do it. Spitting image. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Spitting image. Well done, everyone. I should love that show. Fucking brilliant. 
Well, fucking Sesame Street made me angry because I couldn't fucking stand Big Bird. Right. Blue. Orange. Shitty colour. Purple. Games and hate hobbies. Or people and places. <laughs> right, Morty says shitty colour. Where is it? Good times. Yeah, I've got every. I've got. I've got them all up to series thirteen, I think. Who is the cow in the magic roundabout? Oh, it's not Zebedee. Amateur, what? Yeah. Daisy! No! Of course! Daisy! Oh, here we go! Right, what's our subject? Nature, science, technology, art and culture, people and places, games and hobbies all oh, good times right classics is there with art and culture what word would the naughty baby not say in the in the elephant and the bad baby bollocks no it wouldn't be that would it And why you guessed that question, mm. I am going for, you know what? Right, what are we doing? What's happening here? What word would the naughty baby not say in front of the elephant and the bad baby? Please. Is it please? Right. Everyone seems to be saying please, and this is for the game. Is it please? Please! And it's absolutely correct. Well done. That's another game we've won, and you know what that means. A bit premature there. got two out of me tonight I ain't getting no more out of me <laughs> oh, I've already have clansmen right so you know what that means
Here we go again. How long we've been playing this for now? <laughs> right. Oh, it has to be Joker, wouldn't it? Four or five months, I think. Yeah, it has to be easily. Right. It has to be show business. Three pound ninety. Did we make it up to four quid? Oh. <coughs> in in which film were the characters Pete Mitchell and Chocolate Blackwood? That was Top Gun, wasn't it? Oh, one for Top Gun. Well, two, two for the tall guy. Tall, oh, not the tall guy. The tall man. The tall man. Never seen Top Gun. Definitely Top Gun. All right, we'll go with Top Gun. And it's Top Gun. Well done. And we're up to four quid. Show business. Which comic host catchphrase? That was Roy Walker. Let's be sports. Which team has won the Football League most often? Manchester United, Blackburn or Liverpool. Got to think back to the 80s. Where Manchester United didn't have that 90s winning everything Liverpool. But then again, no one... Everyone's saying Liverpool. And it's Liverpool, well done. Yeah, because everyone started to support them because they was winning. Tintana and Oberon are moons of which planet? Jupiter, Uranus or Saturn? Hello Amstrado, how are you doing mate? Right, Jupiter. Oh, now we got one for B, so we got one for Jupiter and two for Uranus. No, Uranus, sorry. No, oh, no. Uranus, no. Fuck, no. <laughs> yeah, right. It's Uranus. And it's correct, well done. Or should we say you bastard? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So trivia, music, sports, show business, or show business. Fancy calling a planet Uranus. Right. Um. Right. Who got in there first? That was music. With Maltese. Who recorded the album The Seer? Big Country, Lloyd Cole or Malcolm McLaren? <coughs> Stefano says Big Country. Uranus, Uranus. Could have been, right, we'll go with big, say big country, Stefano seems positive. And it's correct, well done Stefano. Musical show business. Mm. 
Right, music it is. Which of the following bands are not Australian? Tin Machine, In Excess or Midnight Oil? It's definitely not In Excess. Right, Tin Machine. Joker. I think we've had a lot of them before. Who recorded the album? Number one, Number of the Beast. Number of the Beast, Ozzy Osbourne, I Am Maiden, or In Excess. It's definitely not In Excess. This is, sounds like a heavy metal band. It's either Osbourne or I Am Maiden. Right, everyone's saying B. Looks like B. Yep, it's Iron Maiden. And it's correct. Well done. Star question. What is the capital? What is the capital of Sweden? Brussels. Oh, fuck off. It ain't. No, it's Stockholm. It's Stockholm. Well done, it says Stockholm. I think that was a good, easy, very easy question. Oh, was she? Unfortunately, mine was American. Well, my wife, ex-wife. I think I would rather go out of a Swede than an American. Right, trivia or show business? Right, show business was the first one. Okay. Which, what is the name of Night Rider? Oh, fuck off. We all know that. It's Kit. Night, was it Night in Industries 2000? Has to be a sports question. Who played cricket at Old Trafford, Queensland, Middlesex or Lancashire? I don't have a clue who likes cricket. I hate it. Lancashire. Right. Oh, now form saying B. Or C is 100%. Jason says he's 100%. Lancashire. Right, Lancashire it is. And it's correct. Well done. Star question again. That come around quick. In which city would you visit the left bank? That's Paris, isn't it? Correct, well done. Joker. Ah, it has to be sports. With which sport? Do you associate rugby player Colin Deans? What? That's a bit of a stupid question, surely. Rugby, tennis or cricket? Why would a rugby player be commentating on another sport? It's my, you might as well say which, which, uh, which, where is burning Germany? Sports again. With which sport do you associate Desmond Douglas? 
flower arranging. Is that a sport? Cycling or table tennis? <laughs> a definite it's flat flower arranging is that a sport table tennis well multi says a definitely Desmond Duck? No, it can't be. <laughs> it's got to be cycling or a table tip. I don't know. It probably was cycled. Desmond Douglas. Who is Desmond Douglas? It's got to be cycling. I reckon it's cycling. Table tennis. So you're all saying table tennis. Okay, we'll go with table tennis. And it's correct. Well done. Music. Who recorded the album? Tr Tuba Lewis, Bruce Old, Mike Oldfield. It's Mike Oldfield, wasn't it? Not Bruce Oldfield. It's Mike Oldfield. Well done! Star question. What is the fifth letter in the Greek alphabet? It's epsilon, isn't it? Yep, everyone's agreeing because it's E. Well done, everyone. Oh, Jack's come on. I didn't see his name pop up. Where is it? Oh, yeah, there you are. How are you doing, Jack? Right. Oh, fuck. Right, Joker. Music. Who is who is singer Sarah Brightman married to Andrew Lloyd Webber, Jack Brightman, or Michael Crawford? It's Andrew Lloyd Webber. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Okay, Andrew Lloyd Webber. That, hasn't, that ain't so clever. Right, it has to be trivia. What fruit is produced more than any other? Pears, apples or bananas? Right, it's bananas. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh hang on, hang on, hang on. No. no. Oh, this is mixture. This is a mix. Oh, classic says C100%. And we've got two for B. But, oh, we see 100%. Alright, everyone's saying bananas. It's 100%. Okay. And it's absolutely correct. Well done. Star question. Which city is famous for jute, jam and Jerusalem? No, journalism, sorry. Journalism. Cardiff, Newcastle, or Dundee? It's Dundee 100%. Right. Everyone's saying Dundee. It's Dundee! Well done, everyone. Oh, it can be Dundee. It's the correct answer. Do 
Right, a Joker. Ooh, Joker or Joker? We'll go for Joker. Show business or music? <laughs> music. Okay, music it is. £4.30. Look at that. Oh shit, I've got to pause it. Where do the London boys come from? We had this before. Manchester, London or Hamburg? It's London. And it's correct. Well done. Bit pretty obvious, really. Mutal's oh, Joker. Star question again. What is measured with a plevometer? Plevometer. We've had this loads of times. Rainfall, snowfall, or wind speed. It's rainfall. Oh, two for A, one for C. It's rainfall. All right, let's go with rainfall. And it's correct. Well done. Right, music, trivia, music, trivia, or trivia, musical trivia, basically. Multi says music. What was the name of Gladys Knight's backing group? The Seeds, definitely not the Stones, or the Pips. It's the Pips. I'm sure we had this one before. It's the Pips. And it's correct. Well done. Musical trivia. Music. Okay. Which, which, which ex Beatle set up a band with S. Paul McCartney? Sport or music? Right, music, okay. Which was the lead singer with Marillion? Bono, no. Chips, no. Fish. I don't know. Was it a hippie band? So it was Fish, weren't it? It was a hippie band, weren't it? Music or sport? All right. All right, sports. Jason says sports. We'll go with sports. When was the first ever televised football match? 36, 21. This has to be 45. No, it could be 36. It's either 36 or 45. Right, A or C. It looks like it could be A and C because I'm sure 1921 the television wasn't invented. Or it could have been in that stage where it was get, getting... Yeah, but BBC started off as radio. Sports. 
so I don't know this could be a tough one but it depends on could they love a big camera around back then right when the war was on there was no television broadcasts 37 so the computers got they've got this wrong No, Stefano, Stefano knows his stuff. I, I don't think Stefano would Google. He, he knows his stuff. So, what can we say? 39 the war started so it ended in 45 so I could uh, <laughs> so what should we say 36 or 45 <laughs> if he sends us back on no that started in <coughs> that started in the mid 80s I think Right, let's go with fifty. Let's go with thirty-six. It's thirty-six. Right, star question. Four pound forty. Oh shit! What? What is a bear's home called? A den, a hide, or a lair? I think I've wasted half the time, so I've got to be fucking quick. A den. Yes, correct, well done. I don't think we've got a question wrong yet tonight. We're doing well. Eh? Trivia or show business? Oi! Cheek. <laughs> show business. In Doctor Who, on what kind of animal, oh, for fuck's sake, even though I don't watch it, it's a fucking dog. Show, oh, it has to be show business. In which film is a dog called, in which film is a dog called Tonto, Toto featured, The Wizard of Oz, Fast of the Future, or Raiders of the Lost Ark? I think we all know this. I don't remember a dog featuring Raiders of the Lost Ark. And Back to the Future, the dog was known as Einstein. Right, trivia or music? Multi says trivia. What is the smallest planet? Mercury is Pluto. Sure it's Pluto. But I want back in.
Pluto. Planet's a planet, it's still a planet. Don't matter. Oh no! No, it's not! It's not Pluto! That's the first question we got wrong tonight. Even I thought it was Pluto. That's a surprise. It's a pl it's a planet. Um, it's still a planet. It is the smallest planet. They fucked up on that one. P Pluto is a planet. Oh, fucking hell. We lost 10p. We lost fucking 10p. Damn it. Right, anyway. Trivia, show business, music, trivia, trivia. I'm sure that fucking Pluto was a planet. 10p. Oh, no. All right, you'll have to, you'll have to give me your address. I'll send you 10p in the post. It ain't. It ain't. <laughs> could back in the day you could get a pet get your penny sweets anyway what we're gonna go for <laughs> penny chews that's ten penny chews oh yeah the cola bottles oh they were nice they were nice. Right. Yeah. How much did a penny chew cost? Half a pence. Who remembers the half a pence? Right. Multi says music. Who wrote the hit? Who wrote the hit? Walk on the wild side. That was Lou Reed, wasn't it? Sting, Lou Reed, or Cliff Richard. Joker. Trivia or show business? Excuse me. Who starred in the film The Great Escape? Thank you. Um, Burt Lancaster, oh, Steve McQueen. Still never seen that film. Show as the show business. In the final scenes of King Kong, which building did he stand on? The Eiffel Tower? No. The Chrysler Building? No. It's the Empire State Building, I'm sure. And everyone tends to agree. And it's correct. Well done. CT is the postcode of which town? Canterbury, Bristol or Cheltenham? More did we... Canterbury. Right, everyone saying Canterbury? It's Canterbury. That is correct. Well done. Show business, sport, music, or, yeah, show business, sport, or music. Music, okay. How many seas of rye did Queen sing about? Oh, it's a seven seas of rye. Hmm. 
music or show business. It's one of my favourite bands, um, classics. I do like Queen. Very good music. Show business. Okay. Right. What, what character did Nigel play... I'm sorry, but I absolutely know this one. It is one of my favourite comedy sitcoms of all time. Alternate comedy. I know Bottom, I still like Bottom. Well, Young Ones is always up there with me. People say Young uh, Bottom was better, but I don't... Yes, Bottom was fantastic, but Young Ones is up there with it for me. Because I remember watching it when I was really young. I really liked it. But obviously bottom is up there. You know. Right, sport or music. I think with the young ones they did, you know, because it was in the 80s. They did, you know, what other, what other comedy show would feature a live band? They're different, but that's why I liked them both. You know, I liked them both because they were different. You know, they had Rick Mel and Adrian Emerson's, but they were, they were both great and they were both different. I <coughs> I would disagree with you there, Clansman. They're not shit. You know, on the buses was completely different. It was a completely different comedy. So, um, I would I like on the buses, but I would to definitely wouldn't agree disagree with you there. But everyone's different at the end of the day. Everyone's different. Right. Well, we sports. Who does Nivelle Southall keep goal for internationally? Scotland, Ireland or Wales? Yeah, I like on the buses. I do. I do. I, I, I like the older comedy because you can just do and say what you want. Nowadays you can't say nothing. You know, I like Only Fools and Horses. I like Red Dwarf. I like a lot of old. I like a lot of comedy. Okay, right, what are we going for there? Alright, Fawn, take care of yourself, mate. Thanks for coming on. I'll be ending this stream in about five minutes anyway. Um, right. What are we saying? C100%, that's Wales. From Wales. And it's correct, well done. Show business has to be. With which character do you associate Castle Greyskull? Dracula, oh, is He Man. He Man. And the power of Greyskull. Star question. I don't think we ever had that one before. How many prongs has a potato fork? We've had this one before.
Oh, some of us do have them was another great comedy. So was Blackadder, but not the first series. Right, um, so, oh, A, so, Multi says A, um, Jason says free. <laughs> so, are we saying four or three? go for free yeah and it's wrong no it's four I bet it's four we're down to four pound thirty oh no so this will be the last round right sports show business sports music or music Alan Partridge yes it wasn't one of my favourites, but it's good, it's good. Well, what are we going for? Music. Okay. Who recorded the hit album Vienna? That was Ultravox. Oh, Vienna. Right, Joker. Trivia it has to be trivia. Which US state is called the Garden State? Maryland, Florida or New Jersey? We've only got two wrong tonight, so we're doing we're done pretty well. Right, classic says un C hundred percent, it's New Jersey. And it's correct, well done. Show business or trivia? Trivia, okay. What is the largest planet? Jupiter, Saturn or Mars? That's Jupiter, but I want back in. Certainly isn't Pluto, because I thought that was the smallest. Right, it's Jupiter. Jupiter Mining Corporation, Red Dwarf. Right, the final question of the night. A star question. What is the psi unit of luminous intensity? What jewels or candela? Hello, hello. Yes, that was another good. That was another good one. Yep, it was. You rang my lord. It was another one I liked. Heidi, hi. Right. Um, C. Stefano says C. Right, we're going with C. Correct. Well done. We'll save it here. Right. 
That's another good stream tonight. Thank you all for coming on. A pleasure as always. And I will, as I said, I said before, I will try and find some more quiz games. But I want it to be like a, a mixture of quiz games, you know, so it's everyone can enjoy it. Right. How are you saying, everyone? Yep. Did you watch your Fairly Sane Power? I could never get into that. But it's more of your area, so yeah, you, I can understand, but... Oh, fuck Ralph Brax. No, I'm not doing that bullshit. Anyway, guys and girls, thank you so much for coming on. It's been great, as always. Take care, and I should be around next Saturday to do another stream. Take care of yourselves. Brilliant. And I'll hopefully see you all next week. Take care. Goodbye.